Um, I'm sorry I missed videos last week, but I'm recovering from surgery. I had two surgeries this month, so it's been a little bit rough, but I'm back and hopefully I'll be able to make videos for you guys. So this is just monkey bread. So you need a pan like this, like a mop pan. I'm just going to spray it so the stuff doesn't stick. Get that out of the way. And I'm sorry if you hear noise because my dishwasher is going and the fan's going. But you need a cup of brown sugar, a cup of sugar, half a cup of butter, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and some raisins and walnuts and biscuits. The raisins and walnuts are optional. If you want to use them, you can. You don't have to. I am because my family likes them. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started because you want to make the glaze for it. But all you really want to do is make sure white sugar and cinnamon in a plastic bag. I'm not going to use a plastic bag. I'm just going to use this bowl because there's no sense in really wasting the bag. Well, you know what? It It'll be okay, guys. Whoops. But it's still going to be good. It'll be okay. And then you just want to mix it. Oh, mix it all together. Don't do what I did. But it's still going to be okay. Once all this is mixed together, you want to take your biscuits, which three cans of biscuits. You can use any biscuits you want. I just use the cheapest biscuits. You cut them into quarters. And then um, you just take a couple at a time. And you drop them in. And you coat them in two. And then you start in this. Now, reheat your oven while you're doing this to 350 degrees. And then while you're doing that, you can put your butter and let your butter be getting melted. Half a cup of butter and a cup of fat brown sugar into pot and let that be melting. Just watching it to make sure it doesn't stir. No, it's going. So, just keep doing these just a couple at a time. Now, you don't have to add the, um, the raisins and you don't have to add the walnuts. But if you do add them, just kind of disperse them as you're putting the biscuits on in. So, like, do a layer of biscuits and then do some walnuts and some raisins. And then do a layer of biscuits, walnuts, and raisins. Just disperse them. I'm just gonna like see if just throw some throw some raisins, throw some walnuts. We're not gonna do a full half a cup of each. Well I might, I don't know. We'll see how it looks in a minute. But this is super, super simple, guys. Like you it's super, super simple. Turn this, I'm gonna turn that on medium heat and kinda let it melt. make this very often, but my family loves it, y'all. Don't you, babe? Mm-hmm. You're not talking to you, babe? Not really. Oh, and we are browning our turkey tonight. If you guys want to see that video on how we do that, I will leave that link down below. Did, didn't we do that <laughs> video last year? Yes, we did. That's possibly the oh. We'll be browning the turkey. Are you guys excited for Thanksgiving? Let me know down below. I want to know what your favorite dish is for Thanksgiving. Dessert, main dish, side dish, uh, I don't really care. I just want to know what your favorite dessert is. Or anything. What's yours, Beard? Turkey. The turkey is your favorite? And stuffing.
I take pride in my turkey and I, I enjoy it. We've had our turkey thong in our fridge for quite a few while now. I think it's been, what, four or five days? Mine would be mashed potatoes, but I'm a potato home. But I make my mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving in the crock pot and beef broth and cook it all day long on slow. So they just taste so good. Or apple pie dunk cake. Oh, those are both really good. So I'll be making that too. And if you want to see how to make apple pie dunk cake, let me know down below. And I'll leave that video linked as well for you guys. You're only supposed to really boil this for a minute, so I'm just trying to get the butter. It's not really boiling yet, so. I gotta see how long they're like, eh, no. Uh, 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Then you let it cool for 10 minutes, flip it upside down, and you're good to go. So this is just the last of the bread. And this is, like I said, just three pans. You could probably do more. Or less. Should we do another? So I still got all this. Do you think we should do <laughs> the last can? Okay, you guys. We're going to do the last can and make it actually four biscuits. So we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so don't make a mess like I did. Now I'm just adding more. Uh, do more raisins. Yeah, we're gonna add the rest of the raisins and the rest of the walnuts. We'll turn that up a little bit so it will melt good. And then, oh gosh, making a mess. Are you really cooking if you don't make a mess? Mm -hmm. So once this comes to a boil, I will just put it over my uh, biscuits. And then after that, I'll put it in the oven and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once I get this to a good boil for about a minute. Like I said, super simple recipe. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. Okay, you guys, so this is our, bless you. Thank you. This is our finished product. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. I wish it was a little bit better, but right here is a little bit better. So, the beard's going to flip it for us. We've let it cool for 10 minutes. Shirts. He killed it. I hope this works to see. <gasps> Ta -da! Oh, that looks delicious. Let me move it over here and get it You guys, look how good that looks. And this is monkey bread, pull apart bread, whatever you want to call it. But look how good that looks. And it came out perfect. So. I will leave this recipe down below, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.